Aiden? All right, turning now to the very latest in the breaking news out of El Paso, that deadly shooting that left more than 20 people dead. New developments tonight in this story. Here's what we know right now. More than 20 people are dead with another 26 injured. That's seen a shopping center that includes a mall and a Walmart. The accused gunman identified as 21-year-old Dallas man. Authorities are now looking into an online writing that indicated a potential connection to a hate crime. In fact, law enforcement surrounded that man's home in Allen just a couple of hours ago. All of this taking place some 650 miles away from that home around 10 o'clock this morning. NBC's Chris Pallone has the latest on this still breaking story. It happened at a packed Walmart on Saturday morning. The sound of gunfire sending shoppers and employees rushing to find cover. The shots are going, do, 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 do. And then he was like, is that good shots? I said yes. People were running inside saying there was a shooter. We took off towards the back of the store where the stock room was. We were pushing people out the way and telling them to go. Police say the gunman walked into the El Paso Walmart not far from the Mexican border at 1039 Mountain Time. Police arrived just six minutes later. By then, the damage was done. 20 innocent people from El Paso have lost their lives, and more than two dozen more are injured. The panic spread to a nearby mall. Police evacuated shoppers as store managers shut their gates. A short distance away, a 21-year-old man surrendered to police. Law enforcement sources tell NBC News he's Patrick Crucius. He's from a Dallas suburb more than 600 miles away. But right now we're looking at potential capital murder charges for this individual. Investigators are examining a document posted online shortly before the massacre, which they're fairly confident Crucius wrote. It has El Pasoans lined up to donate blood to help those still living. El Paso's mayor tried to comfort his grieving city. Our community will not be defined by this senseless, evil act of violence. We will be defined by the unity and compassion we showed in the wake of this tragedy. Chris Pallone, NBC News. And this is just the latest mass shooting here in Texas over the past few years. In May of last year, eight students and two teachers were killed by an armed student at Santa Fe High School. In November of 2017, 26 people died when a gunman used an AR-style firearm to shoot up a congregation at a small church in Sutherland Springs. And in 2016, five Dallas police officers were killed in an ambush. Our Roseanne Aragon is on her way to El Paso tonight. You can follow her on social media and on air. Her live reports start tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And be sure to follow this still breaking story on our website at click2houston.com. There you can also find tweets and condolences from representatives and officials across our area. Just look for this story right there on our homepage.